Hey everyone, if you're normal then you're probably looking for a good excuse to stay inside and delay having to start that big new year exercise regime you planned in detail when you'd had a sherry too many. Well you're in luck because sit down in a big comfy armchair and pour yourself a glass of something because there's a brand new must read book out called Fire and Fury inside the Trump White House. The name Fire and Fury, of course, makes it sound a bit like a new Game of Thrones novel, uh, but this one's actually written by Michael Wolfe. In many ways, of course, President Trump's first year did seem a bit inspired by the George R. R. Martin fantasy series. You know, sure, there's the political stuff, the cruelty, corruption, hypocrisy, betrayal, violence, and so on. That's just the usual stuff. But then there's also the wall, climate skepticism, a kingdom in debt, fear of the people across the sea, and I guess the dragons represent either China or maybe Hillary Clinton if she hadn't had as much work done. Um, but back to the book, um, it's the sort of thing we'd normally have to expect years to read, you know, at least until Sean Spicer had had time to write his memoir and figure out how to email it over to his publisher without accidentally revealing his Windows login password. It's full of pretty damning stuff about the confusion and idiocy occurring 12 months ago when the president first took power, and it largely exposes bare the feud between Trump and Steve Bannon over who was in control and whose ideology was responsible for the win. You know, that win that both of them definitely 100% expected, and that win that definitely didn't force him to cancel other project they'd had planned for after the defeat, I mean after the surprise win, I mean after the expected win. Um, in many ways the Trump-Bannon feud is a bigger, brasher version of the UK's Blair-Brown feud, except that neither of them appear to have either the humility and integrity of Tony Blair, nor the affable, jovial charm of Gordon Brown. How depressing. On the other hand, with Game of Thrones you'll have to wait a year for HBO to release the next series, many years possibly for the next print edition to get into the bookstores, whereas we happen to live in a 24-hour news world where the latest White House news is but a click of the remote or a flick of the newspaper away. Sometimes Westminster politics can be very dull, which is probably something we should be very grateful for. Anyway, see you next week if you like these clips, subscribe.